brand new feature and with the PR that goes out around Joomla 3.0 we're kind of highlighting that as well but the option if you if you haven't seen it or haven't heard anything about it under extensions um, now we've got a language manager and I confess that I haven't installed other languages on any Joomla sites that I've worked on, but my understanding is is that you know the process has always been you go to the Joomla extensions directory or maybe go to another off-site location, find a language pack, which might not be so easy to find, I've heard, um, download that to your local computer, and then upload and install that as like you would a regular extension um, to get support for other languages. Now, um, Click on extensions, go down here to language manager, and I clicked on this install languages button. Right now it looks like French is all we've got. I know a, a month or so ago when I, I tested, I did some testing for Javier, and there was a whole long list of languages, and, and you'll have that option. This is a demonstration um, of you stream and you can, producer. you can choose multiple languages at the same time, but the nice, the nice thing is is that uh, after we do that selection, we click install. That's because I'm on a local host, um, I guess. Um, unless there's something else going on. But if that if I had my system set up right, probably if I wasn't on a local host, then we could install this that language right there from the back end without ever producer. having to go anywhere else, without having to uh, um, download a file separately, upload it through the extension manager and get it in that way. Um, and I've, I've also seen where you can install multiple languages at the same time with that. Um, and, and I just learned today that sounds like phase two of Javier's work is that um, if you noticed in that first step of the installation this process, it asked you to pick a language. And I guess, again, as a, just as an English-centric guy, I've never changed it from the default. Um, I learned that if you pick another language, well, that'll work for the for the installation process, but then once you're once you're done with the installation process and you go to log in on the back end, well, you're back to English again. So that doesn't help somebody if they're not really a good, comfortable English speaker. With phase and so with phase two of Javier's Google Summer of Code project, when you when this you're at that first step of the installation of process producer. and you pick Russian or another language, then it'll go through this same process and install Russian not just for your installation experience, but also right there for the rest of your website as well. So that's a big upgrade. And I think that, uh, you know, one of the things that I've, well, yeah, my, my use case as a U.S. American guy isn't a typical use case for Joomla users. Joomla is so popular worldwide and this is, um, this is going to make a big difference for producer. a lot of folks all over the world. So that's a nice upgrade to you. Um, here's another nice thing. In the article manager list view, you, you may remember if you wanted to reorder these images, you had a couple of options where you know, there was, a, there was the column with the ordering with the boxes and you could either manually go in there and, and type in new orders and then there was a little this is a file save type a icon. Producer. You could work with that. And you had the up and down arrows that you could do one at a time. Now if you come here to this uh, sort table by filter and choose ordering, um, I don't know if you noticed or not. Let me let me go back. This column here at the far left, these uh, three three gray dots. Please sort by order to enable reordering. And you'll notice my cursor is kind of just the arrow. If I come back here and change to sort by ordering, those icons now turn black. And when I hover over them with my cursor we get that four directional arrow and if I click and hold I can drag and drop those guys. Isn't that, 
Andy, yeah, Andy got a big, big, uh, big response out of that too. I, um, so, so that's a nice new feature. And you know, one of the things that that I'm excited nice about for 3.0 is producer. that. I mean, I, I don't expect the the interface, the 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 core interface, to change much for. Um, with the standard admin template, but um, it really lays a foundation for a lot of other customizations for third-party admin templates, let's say, or for us within the core um, for the future. This drag and drop thing, I think uh, the idea came this about uh, uh, with some things producer. at the, was it the Joomla Shine guys or, uh, um, I th I th okay, so a lot of folks contributed to that. Um, I think it's really one example of a, a broad range of things that we can now do with the back-end admin interface that really um, helps make Joomla a lot more user-friendly, a, uh, a lot more 2012-ish. Laura? This is a demonstration yeah. of Ustream Producer. <laughs> so, so. You just have to remember that, okay, now I'm looking at the ordering way, not by title, but there's no. Okay. I think I see what you're saying. You're saying if you if you come back here and, and you reorder them by title, then that's not producer. the order that you're going to see them in on the front end. Well, not, right? It, well, no, that depends on how you define it. You know, if you say you want to order it by alphabetical, then it will be in that sequence. But that ordering number. If they're all set to zero, you have no follow. indication that they're all set to zero when you go you when you sort by ordering because you don't see the number. What they're saying is you can't sort them all to zero. Somehow, if you t turn it to ordering, everyone has a unique number. That's what's happening. Am I saying that right? I don't think so. Well, well, I don't know. So, so, I think, yeah, so. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. But you're saying, so when I look at this for the first time, like when you add a new module, because if this theory is going to work with articles, menus, you know, everything, when you add a new module, let's say, order is pretty important to know. Does it work with, does it all, does the same feature work with modules and menus? Yeah, sure does. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer. Demonstration of Ustream Producer. For for articles, I think you can just drag and drop within that category, right? What if you're showing multiple categories? Well, you can see them, but you just can't drag and drop from one category to the next, I think. Well, yeah, so. So like for example, let's see we've got we've got four in animals, this is a right? Of I can producer. I can drag see how everything below that fourth one grayed out. So I can resort them within that category. And within components here, I see three here. I can resort them within that, but those ones in the animals category gray out. So that's how it works now. And so 
So Laura, what you want is to be able to see that column with the ordering number, whether you're in the order, sort by ordering or not. Is that right? This is a demonstration you know, that, of Ustream producer. I think, well, just say what you want. I think showing okay. the actual ordering number, if you want to keep this consistent with modules, menus, and everything, I think a column stating what that order number is would be important. If you don't want them to be able to change the numbers, that's fine, because you want a pretty little drag drop. Okay. I think that's a fair comment, and there's a there's a fair bit of white space right there in that middle area too. It wouldn't take up much space. Stream producer. Also, you know, you can't change the order of three articles at once. You have to do them one at a time. One at a time. That there there you go. That's a fair so comment too. Well, Say what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to demonstration shift of stream producer. Hold and I'm just guess I'm just experimenting now. Select multiples and then go up to the batch button. Say what? Select multiple items and then go up to the batch button. You have to check something before you do. Just, yep. Batch. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. That just picked one with two of them. Demonstration of Ustream producer. Filter by category first, and then you're only looking at articles with categories. That was the question I wrote? Yep. So on the left side, oh, not on the front, it's going to be ordering. If you want to drag and drop, that's just only enabled when you do ordering by, or order by ordering, right? This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. You want me to Okay, folks at June Day, New York, is this a high priority to add this column? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big sorry guys. If it's not, someone can't take All right. Demonstration of Ustream producer. What bill? Um, just just put me in um. What bill? Just just say master GitHub. Master. So I'll show you a few things from the uh, that you know, were also talked about earlier about uh, changes, some some other kind of options and features you have. From straight within the back end with ProtoStar, we've producer. got um, we've got three tabs: details, options, menu assignments. Under options, you can see we've got some choices to uh, update the template color, the background color. We can change the logo. We can um, change the Google font name. And we got a color picker here. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. And if I save that. Now we've got a different color color scheme for the template there. So uh, I'm about out of time. 
Any, any other questions or comments or things that you all want to see on that? But so... This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Good. All right. And for, aside from that, don't do what I did before, which was go to Joomla code.org and, and download what was left there. Remember, go to github.com and then uh, if you go to slash Joomla This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Here the second link here says Joomla-CMS. Click on that and then you go over here to the right side where it says downloads. Once we've released it, you might as well look at the release. Yep. But between now and Thursday, download as zip or download as tar.gz. So, um, again, what a lot of changes, a lot of nice features. It's going to make make life easier for producer. third party developers, for clients that we're going to hand websites off to. We also talked at lunch about. Um, a lot of screenshots need to be redone in the wiki for the help content. Um, you know, you can see with the first new back-end user interface in seven years, um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. You can expect in terms of taking screenshots to put in the documentation and stuff. So if you want to help with that, we'd love to, to have your help with that. Um, a lot of work producer. has gone into this. We owe a lot of folks. Um, our, you know, highest praise. Uh, a lot of folks who aren't here, um, Elon and Andy, who are. Um, I'll just mention Kyle Ledbetter is the guy who kind of had the vision for Bootstrap, and um, he he got the community behind him, got the production leadership team behind him, um, recruited some a lot of folks to help him do that work. They touched a lot of files. Um, to, to bring this to this point. It's not perfect. Producer. There's going to be some tweaks and changes over time like there always will be. But uh, it's a real big step forward for Joomla. And, you know, if we're going to finish this with a round of applause, it's not for me standing up here and giving the demo. It's for Andy Elon, Kyle Ledbetter, um, all the folks who worked on this and tested this. <laughs>